so I'm on my way to photograph a wedding and uh, I might uh, film a little bit as well and show you the final images. I've, I did an engagement shoot with them as well and she's actually pregnant. So today I'm photographing a couple outside uh, in the evening during the golden hour. So this is kind of like an interesting uh, session because it's like a furry engagement slash get to know each other slash practice session before their wedding because they booked me as their wedding photographer which is like super cool but also it's kind of like a maternity session because after they uh came to visit me last year and we met each other and uh they booked me as their wedding photographer they found out that they were expecting a baby so everything's going really well so they actually um um they changed their wedding date they actually moved it forward you can do kind of like Maternity photos, get to know each other photos, get to know each other more. Like they can get used to the camera a little bit. Uh, we'll practice some poses so they already feel maybe more comfortable, more relaxed during their wedding day because nothing to worry about. It's actually really easy. Poses are super easy. They don't have to practice in front of the mirror. It's just that we've done it once. They know it's not a big deal. Um, so during the wedding day, they don't, I mean, they might have other things to worry about, but not the photo session because they've already done it and they will feel like yeah it's it's not a big deal so kind of we'll practice like they walking away from the camera looking over their shoulder just how they can like hug each other hold each other which looks what looks good in photos uh kind of like the dancing pose whatever of course we don't have flowers today we don't have like a wedding dress so it's different but still it will be nice to, to find out. I'm also going to bring a few dresses and I want to get a little bit more color in my photos because I love it. So I have this new dress that I'm bringing and this one and this one and this one. So I'm bringing like five dresses and she's probably wearing something nice herself as well. I'll bring some hats. I'll bring like a blanket to sit on. They predicted some clouds for the evenings. Uh, it's like 3 p.m. right now. It's still sunny, but it's a little bit chilly. So I'll bring some blankets for them to put around them as well. Um, yeah, I'll show you. I'm actually, I got some flowers from a client and I'm thinking about maybe bringing them or at least like well, some of them. That would be super cute because they're beautiful. I love the colors. Okay, so I'm at the location where we're going to take the photos. I have a vase in my bag for the flowers. flowers are back in their vase. We started maybe an hour and 15 minutes before the sun would set and we finished like in 45 minutes pretty much. So like half an hour before the sun was setting. Kind of like that. So we, sh we were shooting only for 45 minutes because it was still quite chilly. It was like 11 degrees Celsius. So of course I didn't want them to be like super cold. So she was wearing uh, this green hat and then this hat and they looked so good on her. So it was really nice. I love the 
blanket I brought with me and for the first time I took a photo of them like lying down like from the top where like one is like with the legs facing this words and one with the legs that were we're probably not gonna do that on the wedding day but I thought it would be fun now this is actually like an old tablecloth probably but I got it in like a thrift store um, it's beautiful it's warm it's wool I wash it every time like in the machine just on like this wool program I have it on my own couch um, just like as decoration and then I can use it during shoots they can wrap it around them when they're cold it looks beautiful or just like use it as like a picnic blanket last night we used it just as a picnic blanket the woman was wearing two of my new dresses which is really cool so she was wearing like this rusty red dress and I got it from misguided so yeah, the reason why I picked it is long sleeves because sometimes women are insecure about their arms. I love that it hits the floor so it doesn't really matter what kind of shoes they're wearing. It does have like two splits so you kind of like see the legs and the shoes anyway. But I just thought it was so cute that it's long, it's like flowy onto the floor, it's light material so in the wind it starts moving. It's just something that women would usually not wear because it's so unpractical. But then during a session it's... um. It's quite nice. Um, and then the other dress she was wearing, the blue one. I love, love, love the color. I loved it on her. Uh, I actually got it, the sun is coming out. I actually got it on Vinted. It doesn't have a label, but it has elastic here. So a lot of women can wear like different shapes and sizes. And even like with a pregnant tummy, it looks beautiful. It's longer in the back than in the front, which is a dress I would usually not wear. But then during a photo session, I think it's really pretty. And I love how it's like a contrasting color with the rusty red so that in a gallery uh, it looks beautiful because you have like these pops of color also of course the flowers were great for like a little bit of extra color uh, and the other dress she was wearing is from the H&M and it's like this mustard yellow dress she picked it I brought like two more dresses but she picked that one beautiful it's it's a little bit like shorter so you could see the cowboy boots and in the wind it was just like flowing so yeah when I prepped my women who want to wear like my dresses uh by email i asked them to wear like a tank top um like spaghetti straps are great can be like black can be white can be like skin colored um and maybe some leggings or like stockings so that they can change outside and um they don't have to wear i mean they can wear like biker shorts if they wear uh transparent stockings or no stockings just like something that they feel comfortable uh, changing in, but the place we were going to is really remote. There's like no one there usually, but sometimes there can be people there walking their dogs. Uh, so like a strapless bra can work with a strapless uh, tank top or otherwise like spaghetti straps. And um, yeah, so they can wear that underneath the dress. She was wearing like a black uh, tank top and then like a black leggings, which is great because um, yeah, it was looking great underneath every dress. Um, so yeah, let's go to like poses. Yeah, I usually start with the slow dancing pose where the woman is like having the arms in the neck. They can hold the flowers there as well. I can focus on the ring and the, the man can have the hands on the waist. Um, they can just look at each other. Then I ask the man or like the partner usually to kiss on the forehead of the um, other person. Um, then the foreheads together looks beautiful. Uh, one can look over the shoulder, one can like lean against the shoulder, it doesn't matter. Just different angles, it's, it's usually like a slow dancing pose, it's really easy. Then just to change it up a little bit, I'll have them walk away from the camera, walk towards the camera. Um, they can stand somewhere halfway, look over their shoulders. They can have a bouquet of flowers in their hand, stuff like that. Then I usually have the pose where one person is standing behind the other one. They can wrap the arms around them if they're not pregnant. Because if the hands are on the tummy, it might look like a maternity pose, which in this case was okay because she's pregnant and we wanted to take some like early maternity photos as well. So just standing behind the other person, having the arms around and keeping them warm and safe and cuddling or just having the hands on the hips, or in this case the hands on the tummy and then placing the hands all on top of each other, having the bouquet there. I take some close-up photos of the hands and also we were still with the slow dancing pace. Uh, pose I usually take photos of the feet and then I ask like in this case the woman to stand on her toes because it kind of like you only see a photo of the feet but it kind of looks like they're kissing or like she's standing on her toes which it just gives like um, a story kind of um, 
uh, the blanket so of course I could sit on the blanket and uh, I don't always need to have like their faces in like in the photo it can be like the back of their heads and it still looks beautiful I actually pretty much tell them not to look at me not to look at the camera just looking at each other uh, when they're standing like in this case the woman was standing in front of the man I asked him to like give her a kiss on the cheek usually it's like tickling or ask, like whisper something in her ear and you get the interaction you get the smiles that's what I want I don't want them to look at the camera maybe one photo on their wedding day when they're like looking at the camera like grandparents love it so they can print it uh, but usually they just look at each other which I really like and um, so yeah but other poses I mean I had them like stand in between the reed the golden reed beautiful I took some photos of uh, them individually because I'll do that on the wedding day as well and just like I mean yeah the guy can put out his hands in the pocket put his like arms like crossed like this normally they can have like their jacket over their shoulder uh, they can like fix their their clothing their watches their, their ties just being busy like they can just like look into the distance have their model face uh, with a woman when she had her pictures by herself, she could hold on to the flowers, smell the flowers, look over her shoulder, looking at the flowers. Uh, flowers are great because then she knows where to place her hands, which is always sometimes can be a little bit awkward, like where to place your hands. Uh, there are more poses that we could do, like with the back of one person towards the camera and the other one's like pulling her arms through and leaning against it. We didn't do that because she was quite cold, so I wanted to just take enough photos and then finish it off but yeah we can I can have like one person more in front of the camera and one more in the back so you get like this blurry effect I use my 50 millimeter lens just very basic lens aperture 1.8 lovely I do have the mirrorless camera so the mirrorless lens as well it has the eye tracking autofocus which is great I photograph wide open the whole time aperture 1.8 it's beautiful um, but this was just a pre-wedding shoot and she's pregnant so that's great it's beautiful and I'm looking forward to photographing their wedding such a lovely couple um, so I'm staying from 8.30 in the morning until like 9 in the evening so it's actually longer than I would normally do but um, it's okay it's in the area and uh, they have practiced an opening dance and they want to have some photos with that as well and that was a little bit later than planned so it's okay and I'm going to have dinner with them so great so first I'm gonna go to the groom then to the bride uh, and then we'll go from there we have three different locations
really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Love reading your comments. Have a lovely day. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram as well if you want to see more. And um, yeah, see you. Bye.